Welcome back to my updated weed video. I'm so so excited to be doing this video. So if you followed us for a while you will know back in June 2019 I really decided that I wanted to change my lifestyle for the better and lose some weight. This was due to the enormous amount of weight that I'd put on in quite a short period of time and just feeling so unconfident and demotivated with myself with my body. So from then I've been on a whole weight loss journey. I've did a few videos about it before which will be linked below but this is going to be my up update on my weight loss my journey how I'm doing the time scale for this video is kind of from the beginning of this year so January 2020 up until now May 2020 I'm going to talk to you through all of the things that I've done to um, you know continue losing weight at this point this year so from January to now I've lost about another stone and a half it's a very slow process because it's something that I want to do gradually to maintain a sustainable weight loss but here is my weight loss update I know that you have been asking for this I hope you are excited as me for it and yeah I hope you enjoy this video one two three fuck it it's Demi welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're just joining us now welcome so basically for today's video we are going to be doing a health and lifestyle weight loss update well basically my weight is something that I've continuously throughout my full life struggled with and it's something that I've spoke about on many occasions through different types of video talking about my school experience and as I've got older and diet and for me, um, this full eye-opening time came around June 2019, so June last year, when I made a video called I Have a Problem With Food. And in this video, I really realised my actual issues with food and how unhealthy I'd became over the last three years. I was the type of person who would never ever weigh myself. I didn't want to weigh myself because I knew I'd put weight on, but I didn't want to have to deal with the reality of that. Um, and then I eventually did weigh myself and realised over three years I'd put on around five stone. I was really happy within myself and honestly didn't feel um, like really conscious about this or self-conscious about this. However, I did start to get a few health problems and that's when I kind of realised, right, you have to sort this out. This needs to be sorted out. This isn't something that you can go on ignoring, continuously eating what you want to eat and not actually realising that at this point it's affecting your health. I've been changing my lifestyle slowly but surely to aid me in having a healthier lifestyle and losing a bit of weight and along with that I just needed to kind of be realistic about what I was eating but also to start actually working out as well. Basically at the end of 2019 I'd lost a stone and a half from June to the end of that year which I know is very slow. I know people can lose a lot more weight within that time which is great for them but for me this was something that I was doing basically to change my full lifestyle instead of doing a fad diet that you know I would lose weight on but ultimately when I go back to normal eating habits was going to put weight back on so um yeah this was a lifestyle thing for me it still is a lifestyle thing for me and I'm still not where exactly I want to be I've still got a bit to go but I wanted to share and update you on my journey so at the end of last year I decided that going into the new year I wanted to just try that bit harder put a bit more effort into the workouts you know restrict like be a little bit more healthier with what I was eating. What going on to 2020, the way I got back into the gym was signing up to a new gym in my area. I needed a new change of scene. So this is the BHP gym in Newcastle. And I also got myself a personal trainer. This is Liam in the video, who was my personal trainer and has been in 2020. Um, so I've did some one-to-one -one training sessions with Liam, which I really, really enjoyed the one-to-one -one focused sessions. But then I've also done some um, shred groups with Liam so these are six week shred groups where he has a small group of people I think it's around eight people in a class and you do a workout together with your eight people in your group I've really enjoyed all the workouts that I've done with Liam and I will have his links below in case you're in Newcastle and interested in a personal trainer and then along with that I was also doing many home workouts as part of my do the unthinkable muscle food plan this is something that I'm going to talk about more in this video it's something that has definitely helped me and aided me to lose weight throughout 2020 and it's something that you know I'm very happy to promote because this is not a fad diet this is a lifestyle change no tablets none of them shake meal replacements real food real portions 
real meals which is why this has been something that's genuinely helped me throughout this process to stay on track portion control and yeah ultimately just stay in focus with my diet because I've often found when I've tried things I go off them so so quick because they're so restrictive but the do the unthinkable plan is not restrictive for me I'm always satisfied with the food hence how I've been able to stay on track with it I've been using the do the unthinkable plan since the beginning of this year when I first trialed it I used it for a month straight and now I use it every other week just to give you an insight of kind of how I use the plan so I do one week on one week off the do the unthinkable plan and I do the five day plan this is with the weekends off features of the plan is that you get every single meal you need for the period of time you've selected delivered to your door no prepping for you no portion control needed in your behalf it's all done for you you also get workouts sent to you as well you get access to a personal trainer and nutritionist and they also throw in a free recipe book for you such kind tons and if you're like me and don't know where to start with cooking you need that free recipe book for ideas you do also get three dvds with workouts as well on the program so it is a great, great plan and something that I am so, so happy to tell you about because it's helped me and I know that I can help so many more people. So I'm going to talk you through kind of what I have on the plan and what I have when I'm not on the plan as well so you can get an idea of both. Okay guys, so this is a week worth of my plan. As you can see, I've got a whole load of the boxes. So I have a mixture of like my mushroom magu, tikka curry, the Brit abroad is my personal favourite one. It's mint, it's like a mix of spinach, potato, tomato, all that type of thing then I have some bad man spicy noodles um so yeah as you can see I get loads of pots so I I think it averages out well I get like two pots a day um, but then sometimes I get three because if I get this for breakfast then I have some porridges so I have the perky eight golden syrup porridges they are really nice and then I have this this is the fuel granola porridge again I love this these are like one of my favorite snacks these are the hummus and um, so they're smoked hummus and breadsticks they are so so nice I really love these so I have three packs of these for the week I then also have this which is the serene banana loaf and then I have these these are the salt and vinegar roasted pea snacks these again one of my favorites these are the mountain chips i love these i have three bags of the proper corn because i love these and then i also have two bags of the pickled onion buffs i love it so all of this is what you get for the week i feel like you get so much food so it averages out you get three meals a day and three snacks a day it is so much i do the five day plan um but yeah this is just a little overview of my food what I eat in the day on the do the unthinkable muscle food plan okay so I actually missed my morning snack this morning so I'm gonna be having two snacks now so this is snack number one it's honestly one of my favorite ones it's the smoked hummus and breadsticks these are like so delicious if you love hummus and like smoked stuff then this smoked hummus is so good and then i'm also going to be having these mountain chips because i didn't have a morning snack so you get three snacks a day and three meals a day so i'm gonna have two snacks now a little bit of crunchy crisp asmr for you i love the sound of crunching i'm that like weird person that actually loves the sound of crunching So I have mushroom ragu for my lunch. I have the ragu cooking and then I'm gonna put the pasta in. So this is the mushroom ragu that I'm having for lunch. I'm having a bit of a late lunch today um, just because I had a few bits on. But yeah, I love these spinach balls that they put in as well. They're so nice. And then I've got the pasta at the bottom. Snack. I really like these, they're really nice. They taste to me like orange chocolate. But yeah, these ones are really nice. And then for a day off plan, what I eat in the day would be anything from toast in the morning to porridge, cereal. For my lunches, I would have salad with stuffed tomatoes or peppers, a sandwich if I'm having a bit more of a pecky day with crisps and a bit of fruit. For my teas, I would have anything from curries to stews to fry-ups or bolognese. You name it, I ate it.
but please remember this is not a diet this is a lifestyle and this is something that I feel if you're gonna do you're gonna have to do it for like a longer period of time like I said with the muscle food do the unthinkable plan I did it for four weeks back to back at the beginning and now I do it every other week to maintain my portions and because I really enjoy it as well and it's something that I know keeps me on track so to conclude a current week in my life in lockdown when I'm on plan is to have five days of my do the unthinkable food I will have five days of these and then for my workouts I'll either be following my do the unthinkable workouts or I'll be doing fun home workouts that I find online I like to mix it up because I find doing home workouts can get really boring so I do a range of things from following one of the fitness martial dancers to my do the unthinkable workouts following a workout that I find online I like to hugely mix it up I work out for a minimum of 20 minutes per day now I'm saying this I don't do it every single day some days I just don't feel up to it and I allow myself to have them days off that is completely fine I try and drink two liters of water per day the days that I'm not on my plan I do try and stick to less than 1700 calories per day just a personal preference please do consult a nutritionist or doctor before you start restricting your own calories and then another thing that I do is intermittent fasting I have did a full video on intermittent fasting which I'm going to link below this is something that I personally choose to implement into my lifestyle and I personally don't eat for 16 hours the day just decide to eat for eight hours if you want no more information on this I will have my other video linked below but so to conclude this video I wanted to show you my weight loss pictures today this is me at my heaviest in June 2019 and this is me now in May 2020 I also took other progress pictures so this is me in September 2019 as you can see at this point I had lost weight and then this is me in May 2020 again this be about a stone between these two pictures and then this is just a sideway pictures as well so you can see for reference um, my stomach and stuff and then this is this year there's progress pictures from January to May. I did put a bit of weight on from September to January, I think. I think that was just from Christmas and everything. But as you can see here, the weight has now been lost. And I'm at the smallest I've ever been in a very long time at 14 stone. Really hope that you enjoyed this weight update. Let us know if this is something you continue to want to see on my channel. I hope it is because I really enjoy doing them. Without further ratatata, I'll let you go. And good luck on your weight loss journey if you are on one. I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!